Okay, so I'll be working on um, integration by parts. Um, I'll be taking the question from pure maths to um, advanced level, practice paper 11. Okay, now why do I choose integration by parts? Yeah, the truth is that uh, many students find integration challenging and harder uh, than differentiation because it's a more abstract um, concept. Um, unlike differentiation, which may involve finding slope of a tangent line at a point on a curve, uh, integration involves um, or require finding area underneath a curve. Um, you know how difficult that would be now, but in integration by parts, you have to do the two, uh, differentiation and integration all together. Now let's take a look at this question. So the question I have here is um, a level question, um, advanced level, <laughs> okay, pure mass um, three. Okay, so now the question says that find the gradient of the curve with equation, lean y equals to two x lean x and uh, we are given points where x is greater than zero and y greater than zero so at the point of the curve where x equals to two so we have to get the definite um yeah like the definite integral so give your answer as an exact value so we have to get exact value okay now don't forget the question we have here is lean y equals to two x lean x now there's no problem with lean y because you have to find gradient. Anytime they ask you to find gradient, um, that means you have to actually differentiate, okay? Yeah, now, so, um, now, to find gradient means to differentiate, right? Don't forget. Now, so I have lean y equals to two x lean x, so definitely I can actually uh, go ahead and differentiate lean y, okay? So now, but since um, the function is in terms of x, that y is like y equals to, uh, function of x so y is the um, dependent function so when you differentiate y since we want to differentiate lean y then you have the y the x behind it okay so lean y that will give me one over y because when you differentiate lean and uh, lean means um, log to exponential base okay so that will give me one over y then i have the y the x behind that okay that's this the left hand side the question is lean y equals to x lean x. So the left hand side, no problem with that. Lean y is going to give me one over y dy dx. Now, so the second one is two x lean x. That is the right hand side. Now, how do you know when you use integration by parts? So when you have um, different function, generally in algebra we can classify all function all together. I use acronym for it. Okay, L I. A T E like eight, okay. So we have lean function, index function, okay, um, algebraic function, um, algebraic function, then trigonometric function, then exponential function. So when you have two different function, two different distinct function. For example, if you are combining algebraic function with trig function or exponential function with um exponential function, two different function, then you know that you should use integration by part because product, product of two different function. For example, sine x, maybe 2x sine x. So 2x is algebra, algebraic function, y um, sine 2x is, yeah, like lean function. So you can, but sine 2x itself is also a chain function, don't forget, sorry, function of function, so we can use chain rule. Yeah, so let's go back to the game. 2x lean x. <laughs> so now, generally there is a formula for that, but I don't go that way. Don't forget, I, I like using my own method. So I use table method to complete that. So to use table method, that is integration by part, use table method. I want to um, use to um, solve 2x lean x using integration by part. Don't forget. Now, how do I know? My table is such that uh, you like normal table, tabular table. So um, I need a function to differentiate, then I need a function to integrate. So how do I know the function to put on that? Um, to differentiate and how do I know the function to integrate you have a table like plus that you have d i so you the function you are going to differentiate under a, a, a column and the function to integrate under a column yeah but the function I have here is um 2x linux now um the preferences is such that I have light l i a t e so um lean come first so lean we take preference over um index function and index we take um, preference over algebraic algebraic we take uh, preference over trig and trig we take function over exponential however trig and exponential you can actually interchange okay so but that's not what we are dealing with so the combination i have here is lean function and algebraic function 
and that is um, 2x lin x 2x lin x so definitely lin x will go under differentiation because you can easily differentiate lin x when you differentiate lin x you are going to get one over x okay so then also um if you are to integrate 2x definitely keep um in, increasing but the only thing is the idea is this i uh, in the moment i can reduce my lin function to algebraic function then came over so that's the idea so now i have my table di so i have lin x under differentiation i'm going to differentiate lin x then i'm going to integrate to x so when you differentiate um lin x you have one over x so one over x definitely is like inverse but it's algebra already one over x inverse of x so that's algebraic function so one over x so inverse but it's x okay that's what i know okay so that i integrate um 2x uh 2x should give me uh that should be x squared <laughs> yeah because you know don't forget when you um integrate uh let's say you want to integrate x raised per n you add one to it then you divide by the index for example now integrate x raised per n we give you x raised per n plus one divided by n plus one so now since i have 2x so that would give me two is a constant just ignore that one okay so it's a constant so work with s x so x now the power of x is one so add one to it so that's s squared over two then the coefficient to cancel two so you are left with s squared so now i now i'll be able to reduce um lin the lin x to one over x then um, i've been able to re reduce um i don't want to use the word reduce for integration because integration is like yeah, you, you make it expand, you make it bigger, okay? So, or like differentiation is like, <laughs> break it down. Okay, so yeah. Now, so um, my 2x actually end up with x squared and lin x end up with 1 over x. So then I can have the combination of the two now. Okay, so, um, but the idea is, um, it can be quite abstract. So, um, but the answer I'm going to have there because you're going to use like a transverse. Uh, the function I have at, on top is lin x. So you have lin x times s squared. So that will give me s squared lin x, then minus, then I will now integrate one over x and s squared. So uh, which is quite easy because uh, one over x times s squared will give me um, x. So I'm only integrating x. <laughs> so then, so when you integrate s, you end up with s squared over two. So the final answer there for the right answer will give me s squared um, lin x minus s squared over two. So, and uh, since the left hand side is actually one of our y dy dx, and this question asks me to find the gradient of the curve. So, I can use dy dx as a subject of formula. So, dy dx will just be s squared in x minus s squared over 2 that I have on the right hand side, then divide both sides by 1 over y. So, the final answer is y, then open bracket s squared in x minus s squared over 2. Yeah, that is pretty cool but um the only thing about it is that because i'm discussing it algebra could be quite abstract and um yeah but you enjoy it if i can pen it down okay so yeah thank you